Tea is one of the most widely consumed beverages around the world, known for its soothing aroma and refreshing taste. However, like any other substance we consume, moderation is key. So, let's explore the components of tea and their potential effects on our health. One of the primary components found in tea is tannin. Tannins are naturally occurring plant compounds that give tea its characteristic flavor and color. While tannins are generally safe for consumption, excessive intake can have some effects on our health. They can interfere with iron absorption, especially if consumed alongside iron-rich foods or supplements. If you're concerned about this, consider enjoying your tea between meals to minimize any potential impact. Another well-known component of tea is caffeine. Caffeine acts as a stimulant that can increase alertness and temporarily ward off fatigue. However, consuming too much caffeine can lead to various symptoms such as jitters, anxiety, and difficulty sleeping. It's important to be mindful of your caffeine intake and listen to your body's response. Drinking excessive amounts of tea, just like any other beverage, can have consequences. The high caffeine content in some teas may cause increased heart rate, elevated blood pressure, and digestive issues in sensitive individuals. Additionally, excessive tea consumption can potentially lead to dehydration due to its mild diuretic properties. It's crucial to balance your tea intake with an adequate amount of water to stay properly hydrated. It's also worth mentioning that certain herbal teas and infusions may have medicinal properties. While these can offer potential health benefits, it's essential to consult with a healthcare professional or herbalist before using them as a remedy for specific conditions or ailments. Now that we've discussed some of the potential concerns, let's remember that this discussion is not about avoiding tea altogether. Tea, when consumed in moderation, can be part of a balanced and healthy lifestyle. The key is to find your personal tea sweet spot. Pay attention to your body's response and adjust your tea intake accordingly. For most people, consuming 2 to 3 cups of tea per day is considered a moderate and safe amount. However, individual tolerances may vary, so it's important to listen to your body and make choices that work best for you. Additionally, choosing high-quality tea can make a difference. Opting for loose-leaf tea over tea bags allows you to control the steeping time and extract the desired flavors while minimizing tannin release. Experimenting with different varieties of tea, such as green, black, white, or herbal blends, can also add a touch of variety to your tea drinking experience. So, can tea be bad for you? Like many things in life, moderation and self-awareness are crucial. Tea offers numerous potential health benefits and can be enjoyed as part of a balanced lifestyle. By being mindful of the components in tea, such as tannin and caffeine, and finding your personal tea equilibrium, you can continue to enjoy your favorite cup of tea without worrying about any negative consequences. That's it for today's episode of 5 O'Clock Tea. We hope you found this discussion helpful and informative. As always, remember to savor each sip and make tea time a delightful and relaxing experience. Stay tuned for more exciting tea-related content coming your way. And until next time, keep calm and steep on.